Hey, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly Leica talks, all things Leica. So I want to start by saying thank you for all of my supporters who join in throwing a few dollars my way a month. It's been really difficult with this pandemic. Freelance work is way down and I'm just trying to keep the shows going. And I've been doing three shows a week in the goal of trying to just put out more content. I have more time to do it. But I need your support. If you can throw a few dollars my way, you can go to supportkenneth.com or hit the Patreon link and they're in the show notes. And it's a really, really valuable thing to me. If you find these shows valuable to you, please consider that. All right, so today I wanna to talk about Leica accessories. So I'm a huge fan of the thumbs up and the original thumbs up by Match Technical is an actual brass, it's incredibly well built, it's solid. And I find them to be, compared to the cheap plastic ones they sell on eBay for $10, these are closer to $100, but you can find them used for 60. And they make this Leica M8 very holdable. Without it, I can hold it. But right there, you just wish you had one little hang, hang, place to hang your thumb. The old film Leicas had an advance. You could just put your hand through the advance, and that was kind of the natural thumbs up. But they make them with a accessory hot shoe, too, if you want to use a flash on top. I never use a flash with these Leicas, so I just use the one that's got a blank top. And... To me, I think that that makes it a lot more hand-holdable. Is it worth the extra money? I think so. And get the one by Match Technical if you can find it. That's a much better one. It's the original thumbs up. And that's one. And then the other thing I've been using is on a Leica M6 on the film cameras, this little grip. I'm not sure who makes it. It was being sold locally, so I picked it up. And I wanted to give it a try because... Film Leicas are kind of small. They kind of are tiny little bodies and they don't give you much to hang on to. And this little screw on grip, you can find them for, I think they're probably $200 new, but you can find them used for less. I paid around 150 and it's the kind of thing where I'm like, it's easily transferable to every Leica that I have. And whatever one I'm carrying, it does give you a little bit more working space. Now you have the natural thumbs, thumbs up with a place to put your thumb when you open up the advance, but it's really nice to have that kind of a thing. And then I even added a shutter button, just a simple shutter button. So now it's extremely smooth. I can focus and I can shoot. And it's like this quiet, quiet little shutter. It's right under your fingers. And this grip feels like you're holding on to something that has significant, I don't know, something that, something that feels like it's got a, a little bit of a, a grip. Leicas never were made to have a lot of grip. They were very much about making a camera small and compact. And I've actually used Leica M's with a collapsible 50 and I could put the whole thing in my front jeans pocket. But this one has a 50 millimeter Summicron version two the rigid, they call this one. And I, I like the soft grip. I like the soft release and I like the grip. And I feel like it does add a little something to shooting this camera and this lens. And I like, I think that this, of all things, this little screw in grip is probably the thing that really makes it for me the best. But I'm always tightening it because I find that they loosen themselves and then they fall out when you're not looking. So they never fall out when you're looking, always when you're not looking. So keep that, make sure that's in there nice and tight. And sometimes on some of my, like as I'll put a diopter on here so I can shoot it without my glasses. But this one, since it has a 50 on it, I can see the whole 50 millimeter frame in the viewfinder. So I don't need a diopter on this one. But those accessories can make your Leica a little bit more easily used and definitely a little bit more hand-holdable. So I recommend the thumbs up for the digital bodies and the hand grip 
if I can find a name on it somewhere, I'll put it on there, but I don't know if I can find one, but there's a bunch of different manufacturers making those. And I think they're quality and I think they do add a little something to the feel of the use of the camera. All right, that's today's photography talk. Talking things, all things like a. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, please, please do hit the Patreon. I'll be back next week and we'll talk photography. As always, here's the good light. <laughs>